Hell yeah. I'll take one of those. Alright, what I have here, guys, is an underglow kit, which I'm going to be installing into the FRS. Uh, but what's cool about this particular set is it's the trailing style. So there's multiple light functions, but you can actually have the lights going around your car. Uh, which I think is actually pretty cool. Uh, some of you might call this ricey, but honestly, I'm way past that kind of comment. Okay, and if you guys are wondering what brand, this is by Nye Rider. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I picked it up off of Amazon for like 68 bucks, which is considerably cheaper than some of the sets that are out there in the market. But in terms of quality, there's only one way to find out, and that's after we install it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Damn, garbage. Oh my. I think we did good, guys. What's cool about these ones, um, they're marked right or left because depending on where you install them on the under part of your car, um, you can actually have them connected to your left turn signal and your right turn signal. You can have it so that it turns red for brake and uh, white for reverse. So I'm excited to see how those functions look. But yeah, let's get to wiring. Cheers. Let's see if they even work. Good job, Jib. Yeah, you did. Automatic? Yeah, auto is this one. Oh, it is? Yeah, You can just change. What? What? This is beautiful. Hey. This is awesome. It reminds me of my childhood somehow. That's dope. Look at that. Guys, uh, let's do the soups. And also, Sunny just pointed this out. These are directional. Where do you see the arrows? The arrows are in between. Oh, what the heck? Right there, right there, that little mark. So you know this is going this way. He's working on the table. Just make sure those are wires are... Here, one sec. I'm gonna... Test the glow. Man, there's so many different functions on this. It's crazy. What? Look at this one. It like builds up. What? Oh, cool. I think the Supra deserves this too. Yo, Ed, can you turn off the lights for a sec? That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. That's tough. So I extended the wires and added these connectors so I could have the option of removing them easily. And I'm actually gonna be connecting the functional LEDs to my rear tail lights. Out, so I got room to work. Bam! Dream garage right here. That's sick. All Toyotas. I mean, technically the Lotus has a 2ZZ Celica engine in it, so that's a Toyota as well. Okay. So I actually still have remnants of my old LED setup that uh, my friend Chris helped me install. <laughs> but again, the past several underglow installs that we've done on this car. We've always just done it on the ground, so now that we have it on a four post, I think it's gonna be a lot easier, and uh, we can actually do a much more thorough job of making sure it stays on for good. It's right here. Oh, you already peeled it off? No. Oh, what? Did it fall? 
I wanted to save it for the video. <laughs> it fell off. Okay, fine. Yeah, no, that one's gone too. Okay, never mind. All of my past LED underglow is completely gone. Okay, be careful when you're walking into this, okay? That's the last of the last. Garbage. We really needed to assess the placement of the lights, since A, these are directional and I want the lights to be moving from front to back, and B, we're gonna be wiring the switchback LEDs to the designated turn signal. This is gonna be for the right side. Can you test just to see if we got it right? Yeah. Nice. Let's go. And then the left one. Yeah. Sick, okay. And then what does reverse look like? Should be all white. Okay. Delicious. <laughs> and then actually all the lights turn off depending on what function, but then they go back to normal. So that's dope. The functions are override the rest of it. Yeah. Oh, and that stop. Oh, what? That's pretty cool. That's cool, that's cool. Whoa, I like that. Okay. The important thing is to make sure you thoroughly clean the mounting points or where you're gonna 3M it because you just wanna make sure it stays on, right? So we're gonna reinforce it. Uh, if we need to glue it, we will tape it down. Use zip ties. Oh, cool, cool. I like that, it fades. Yeah. What? As okay. you can see, it goes into the performance. Yeah, that's a little. Okay, let's just get this thing installed. Now, first time I did this incorrectly was because I didn't mount them properly and they kind of just fell off. So you really want to make sure that the surface you're going to be putting the strips on are well prepped and super clean. Second time was because the wires weren't fed safely and thoroughly through the engine bay and the wheel wells, so they were super prone to tearing and, well, that's exactly what happened. So let's try to avoid those this time around. Beautiful. Oh, oh my, oh my god. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, what are we doing? Yo. That's since okay, we gotta see the back, how we hooked oh, it up. Yo, yeah. Whoa, that's Your a idea is nuts, yo. That's a f show, dude. Yeah, it's funny outwards. Yeah, that's sick. Cause then it's shining on the top of the exhaust. That's insane, dude. I'm gonna turn this light on. Let's go back to auto. I love auto. Oh. Auto's my favorite. Go one up from auto too. Like plus. That one's really good. Um, yeah, you're right. Oh man, that looks so dope. Left first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's on. Oh yeah, I see that. I see that. Now we're doing reverse. This is so midnight club. Fuck, this is so sick. Last but not least, right to the signal. Nice. Yep, it works, it works. Oh, sweet dude. Good job, good job. I'm happy. Good job all around, man. Yeah, dude. I decided to hardwire the lights to my taillights, which meant me having to extend the colored wires by the length of the car. So I found this safe area with the OEM hole which is screwed the module box into and also after feeding the wires through the firewall I really tried my best to hide the wire ring leading all the way to the trunk. Hey, okay, okay. Pistachi ho! <laughs> What's up? Damn, and Ryan's car, guys. You'll see all of these cars at tomorrow's show. Okay, let's park up. F we own the lot. <laughs> I was like, uh, this isn't a parking spot. If a car comes though. We are the cars. Put it on auto, yo. What's it on? What is it on? 
Oh, it's not an auto. Oh, really? Oh, what the what? You press auto now, right? Maybe it doesn't have a proper connection in the battery. It's like moved around. Oh, that's right. When I was rolling in, it wasn't yeah. like this? No. Oh, fuck. It's because, probably because it's not secure on the battery terminal. Okay, let's figure this out, man. What the fuck? <laughs> and in here you found this. <laughs> <laughs> right, it was barely even touching. Yeah. Where's the remote at? Press auto. There you go. What the? There you go. It's probably pressing something in the crease. What? I will try again. All right, get out of here, crazy kid. Lately, my thoughts got me distant. Darker days filling up darker minds. Stuck in this room that keeps spinning Wondering how to God damn That's his Tis <laughs> Are our connections okay? Yeah can I, <laughs> I can never trust but I think we did good guys Oh Woo! Yeah we did good We changed it again though Press auto Oh what the fuck Okay guys I think that's it Um yeah It's driven prep as you can see All of these cars are still here yeah, the car show's here. <laughs> no, it's a pre-show. <laughs> God damn. Old school MR2. This thing is freaking badass. Look, case holder. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, this thing is sick. There's like maybe less than 15 hours for the show, and everyone's here prepping their cars. Finally, the E36 and the XB meet. Both the same color, Ryan's car. Always looking sick. Gutu, a little closer to Earth. And pistachio. All right, guys, I think I'm just gonna end this video. You will see all of these cars tomorrow. I mean, I'm gonna document it. You guys will probably see all my story if you follow me on Instagram, uh, at subbirdie. Other than that, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Cheers. Hey man, you guys did good, Jordan. Appreciate it. Bro, everything from sketch to 3D render. To prints, to molds, to... I don't wanna mess up your night. I don't wanna...